everyone. This is Professor Mo, and I uh, uh, hope uh, everyone is doing great. I'm going to create another uh, um, component of a shock assembly, uh, which this component or the part that we need for assembly is, is called uh, the uh, self-locking uh, knot, okay? So this is a self-locking knot. We have castle knot, um, but this one is a self-locking knot with uh, internal threads given in here, which has a major diameter of 72 millimeter by six. Six is a pitch, six millimeters. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to create, to remove this corner, sharp corner of the polygon that we're going to use, which is the um, six-sided polygon. We call it hexagon. So this is uh, what I will be uh, creating step by step. So let's do it, okay? So this is the threaded hole, and this is the bottom and the top corner. And instead of using chamfer, I'm going to use a radius, fillet radius, okay? So that will be, I think, more like it because the uh, older edition of the textbook, it used to be uh, fillet and they change it to chamfer. I think I'm going to change that to fillet radius. I've already created for the hex uh, bolt, if you recall that, for the bolt or hexagon uh, head bolt, and I've used the um, chamfer. So let's just practice fillet radius and it looks nicer and it, uh, it, uh, then we can just create, a, uh, we can mirror the top and what we do in the top, we can mirror it on the bottom, okay? On the bottom, the yellow yellow colors that you can see, all right? So that's the bottom, this is the front and this is the top, they don't play or top, top view. All right, let's start, we say new and we're gonna say this is uh, self, dash we just separate the word by dash otherwise it won't work in uh, uh choreo uh and choreo pyramid okay so self locking uh not let me see maybe i already used the same 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 thing it may not work it see that it says and uh, they create the object okay the file fail so i'm gonna i'm gonna go back and instead of using the um, because I've already used the dash, I'm going to use the underscore, okay? It's the same. So I'm going to use the uh, uh, underscore in here. Let me just delete that and use the underscore, okay? Now it works, okay? All right, so we have the file name, which is a self-locking knot, and then we have the plane. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to create the uh, polygon or six-sided polygon. Uh, by using extrude and we create it on we're gonna create it on the top top datum plane we select the top datum plane and then we go with sketch so uh, we remove the plane and we're gonna drop a point to ensure that uh, the center of the polygon will coincide with that point so we go to palette double click on six sided polygon we drop it there and then we say check now we use the constraint called coincident. We're going to coincide that center point with this center here. All right, so then we're going to dimension the uh, corner to corner, and that should be, uh, we should remove the 62.92. We're going to delete that, so it will, oops, uh, one more time. So we're going to go maybe from this side to this side here, which is we're going to get rid of the, uh, uh, the uh, default uh, dimension. So we're going to type in 120, okay? The specification is given on the mechanical drawing for your project, okay? So, th so that's 120. And we're going to create, and we're going to go extrude, and the amount of extrude is 52. We're going to double click on here. We say 52. And then we can just uh, reverse the arrow. And when you extrude that, make sure to extrude. And instead of blind, we're going to extrude in both directions, okay? Use the extrude on both sides. All right, so that's perfect. And uh, next, uh, we're going, this is the top, and this is the front, and this is the bottom, okay? All right, so we say extrude on top surface. We're going to create a circle quickly, and that circle uh, has a, a diameter of... Uh, let's see, 109, okay, 109 millimeters. So uh, we're going to just type 109. And then we say check, and how far is going to go up the amount of extrude? It should be 32, okay, 32. And we say, okay, we are happy. 
So we're going to now extrude the hole through the surface from the top all the way down. So we say extrude, uh, or and then we say uh, placement uh, defined. So we click on the surface, and then we say sketch. OK, a sketch. Uh, now we have to create a circle. Uh, do not use the whole tools, OK? Use the extrude because we wanted to uh, add threads to the internal threads for the hole. So use extrude to create this hole, OK? And the diameter should be, the major diameter is M72. M72, so the diameter of the hole is 72. And then we can uh, reverse the arrow so we can poke a hole all the way through. And this is going to be here under the depth. We're going to say all the way through. Okay, perfect. So that's what we have here. And um, that's the third extrude, extrude one, two, three. Now I'm going to create the thread. Then I'm going to add the fillet on the top and the bottom. So we can use the mirror to do that. Uh, let's just turn the plane back on. And uh, all we have to do is we're going to go to a helical sweep under sweep. We're going to click on helical sweep. And then we go to uh, sketch. And this is the sketch. And then we click on the front datum plane and a sketch view. OK, perfect. So we're going to just get rid of the plane for clarity and then change the shade to hidden line so we can see the hidden line in here. Before you continue, make sure you put the axis of revolution in the middle here all right so and then we create a line that goes from this point to that point and now we're going to click on check and then click on the pause and change the pitch and, and instead of six i'm going to use 2.5 okay it's much easier to work with 2.5 because six is a little bit uh you know the it's going to be uh coarse threads so it doesn't look good so we're going to use 2.5 uh, but you can just make sure you're going to put down the, uh, for the machinist, you can say M72 by 6. Okay, the pitch is 6. Okay. So now that we have that 2.5, I'm going to go to, I'm going to click on this sketch, the pencil, it's like a pencil. And then I'm going to use this uh, line to create the profile in here. All right, so that's a profile. Let me zoom it a little bit. So this measurement here uh, should be half of the pitch, so 1.25, half of 2.5. And this angle should be 60. That's American National Standard V-shaped thread. And then we have to make the, we have to impose the constraint called equal. So equal, these two lines are equal. And this is the uh, angle of 60 degree, 1.25. Everything is ready to go. Let's just change this back to shade and we're going to click on check and then we're going to go remove and if you just check now you see that that's the threaded uh, holes okay all right so that's what we have uh, so we have completed the internal threads and so just if you if it was a little bit too fast you can pause and again repeat you know watch the video several times for this all right uh, next, I'm going to um, create the fillet radius on this corner. Again, we need to have the plane display. And this time, we're going to be using a Revolve, okay? We're going to use Revolve uh, on which on which plane? Front, okay? Front datum plane. Uh, let's uh, turn off the plane. And the uh, we're going to put the axis of revolution in the middle here on this y-axis. I'm going to use a fillet, okay, fillet radius, the second one, the circle trim. And then we we'll click on this line and this line. And I'm going to give an arbitrary dimension, say 10, okay? So 10, it looks, it looks good, 10. All right, so we have the radius of 10. And that's all we need, okay? That's, I just created um, uh, a, a fillet radius of 10 on this corner. And then we're going to click on check. All right, click on check. Let me just go back to the shade. And then we remove the materials. Oh, we have to reverse the arrow, okay? So now you can see that the 
the fillet or it looks like a chamfer, but it's a fillet radius here, okay? So we say accept. While this is highlighted, I'm gonna turn the plane on, turn it on, and then I'm going to click on mirror and then click on the top. Remember I said we need to have the top uh, uh, or extrude for this polygon in both directions. So we needed that top plane in the middle. So now we have the same thing on the bottom, okay? The same thing on the bottom. So there, there we go. So if you wanted to color that and they make it look nice, and then I will just pick that color for on uh, the side here. Okay, so that's uh, almost, we are almost done, okay? Uh, so hold the control so you can simultaneously um, select uh, or multi surfaces. Okay, great. And then if you wanted to color this uh, yellow color, we can just click on this here and then control. All right. And also we can just do the same thing on the bottom. Okay. So that's what we have. And then I'm going to create, uh, this will be red. Okay. And okay. And this is maybe, um, I think if you wanted to uh, screen, okay, that's good. All right. So that's what we have. And if you wanted to use blue, maybe we can just use blue for that piece there. Okay. All right. So, so this is the completion of this self-locking knot and you've learned how to, uh, create internal thread, uh, right there. And also you learn how to create the fillet radius to remove the sharp corner for the polygon. All right. Good luck. And, um, I've already created a, a threaded uh, shaft on another, uh, on the previous video. So now you have a good idea of how to create the internal thread on self-locking. And if you, uh, you can do the same thing for the, um, uh, they call this uh, castle knot. The castle knot has also a M48 by five threaded hole. So I leave it up to you to do that. All right. So hopefully this was a good, um, uh, uh, video so that it, it helps you to understand this language of uh, uh, creating a threaded hole. Uh, it's that's the way it is. Okay, so just you have to practice and you can see how it looks like. All right, so uh, I'm going to stop uh, at this point. Okay, and uh, I will be creating uh, more videos down the road. Okay.